Welcome in beautiful travelers. My name is Marie at Indigo Earth. I am here to do a reading for our fire signs, Aries. Aries, you are our leaders. You are ruled by the planet Mars, which is a planet of sexuality and aggression. Your dual nature is to be courageous, yet you can be very competitive and headstrong. Your desire is to trailblaze. And your mantra is I am. Welcome in cross watchers. You may be connected to or in a relationship with an Aries. Therefore, you are here to see what's going on with your person. So some of this message could be for you as well. Feel free to swap around the characters as the message unfolds. And our energies are working together, you and I, to bring a message to you for the highest atonement of your soul growth and soul evolution, as well as for all humanity and all living deities on this planet. We're getting a theme for you here. Wow, Aries, we got the Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands. Looks like victory and love. Victory and love. If you like the content being shared, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow so that others may also have access to the messages that might be needed for them. Much appreciated. <clears throat> so let's see where we go with you today, Aries. You're starting off with a bang. Starting off with a bang. Nine of Cups, Happiness, Bliss, Six of Wands, Victory, Rising Above, Phoenix coming out of the ashes, Messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is your sun sign or your ascending. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to check out your moon sign as you may be more in cycle with your lunar energies right now. So let's see where we go for you today, Aries. Messages for Aries, please. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. Messages for those watching. And I thank you. All right, here we go, Aries. Your overall energy. Woo, the sun coming out smoking. Wow. So we got the sun, clarity, joy, bliss, standing in your power. That's vital power right there. Your situation, the eight of swords, maybe coming out of some sort of deception, could be coming out of some sort of like dark night of the soul, could be coming out of some kind of depression. Your opportunity, the hanged man, new perspective, seeing things differently. What the universe is co-creating with you, Queen of Cups. Mm, this could be vulnerability. This could be an opening of heart wisdom. Um, this could be finding your special person. Uh, let's see, energies that surround you that you might not be aware of, Queen of Pentacles. Self-analyzation, self-care, self-reflection, being grounded, being centered, being solid, dependable, sturdy, reliable, energies that are coming in in the near future, ten of swords, ending a karmic cycle, surrender, letting go, energies that are fading away, seven of pentacles, Mm, that has something to do with patience, waiting. Could be opportunity came knocking already for you. Or procrastination. Um, how you're showing up in this situation, the high priestess. Inner knowing, inner intuition. Listening to your gut. Following your inner guidance. What's in front of you that you need to contend with? Ace of Wands. New beginning and inspiration. This is the catalyst, the matchstick that gets things going. Your hopes and fears. The magician. That's air energy coming in. Specific to Gemini. And your outcome, the Ten of Cups. That's a nice place to be with the Knight of Wands. So the Knight of Wands is that giving hope, giving optimism, um, 
moving forward with some kind of inspired action, self-expression, self-aspiration. So we've got a lot of, well, we've got a lot of queens here, that's for sure, and the high priestess, queen of cups and queen of pentacles and the magician. We've got a new beginnings. We've got clarity coming in. <clears throat> it's like a breakthrough, some sort of breakthrough, some sort of barrier has been broken through here. Some sort of barrier maybe that felt like heavy or burdensome or problematic. Um, could have been maybe the way you were seeing it or maybe the way that you were viewing something. But, but some sort of barrier has been broken here. And there's a new beginning in maybe some kind of aspiration that you have for yourself. You're really following some inner guidance or those inner nudgings. So let's see where we go with you today, Aries. What is the Eight of Swords? This is um, oh, kind of self-talk, what you're saying to yourself how you're feeling about things on the inside. Um, could be feeling hopeless. Seeing the glass is half empty. So this is your situation. So let's see where we go with this. Looks like you're coming out of it though because you're finding your happiness. You're feeling like you're rising above. One more time through, please, for Aries. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. Something sturdy, something steady, something dependable with the Ace of Cups. Woo, love's coming in. And the Eight of Pentacles. This could have something to do, this is something profitable. This is something gained. This could have something to do with maybe a job. This could have something to do with a career. This could have something to do with a life change. <clears throat> this ha could have something to do with doing something that you really love, that's inspiring, that's fulfilling. This could just be really expanding your own, um, your own knowledge, your own wisdom, your own, like it's inner engineering. You're inner engineering yourself. So let's see what the hanged man is. This crosses over the sun. So whatever was stuck, you've gotten clarity on it. With the new perspective, those are like the best two cards to have. The hanged man and the sun. Something became illuminated. You would know best what that is. One more time through, please. We have the Five of Wands, so there could have been inner conflict. We have the Nine of Pentacles within yourself. Um, this is about you, what's inside of you. There was conflict inside of you, confusion. Um, you know, maybe you were battling light and dark. Maybe you were battling decisions. Maybe you were battling how you felt and maybe what you wanted to do in the world. And then we have the Empress, but you found it. <laughs> The Empress is um, somebody who is a visionary, somebody who is just a great manifester. And you got, you know, the High Priestess down here. You got the Magician here. That's the manifester. And you got the Empress. So taking those things, those things on the inside that you've always wanted to do and actually moving forward with them because you got the Knight of Wands. The Knight is about moving forward. Moving forward to what inspires you, to what is your bliss, to what is your Ten of Cups. Let's see what the Queen of Cups is. This is opening up. Vulnerability. Seeking wisdom. This is what the universe is helping you with. Crowning you with. One more time through, please. We have the Page of Pentacles. So, learning something new, being learning something creative, maybe taking on a new hobby, maybe um, taking classes, maybe um, taking a different road. 
We have the devil and we have the seven of cups. So something that was causing confusion, some kind of attachment that was causing confusion um, that may have been lingering for a while. Um, you might be seeing this clearly now. You might be seeing this more from, instead of a logical aspect, more from a heart aspect. Maybe something that was holding you back or holding you down or keeping you captive. Could have been some kind of attachment that you had yourself that you were able to like shine a light on it, like illuminate it, like see it for what it is. It's kind of helped you break free from something because you got the Ten of Swords here as energies that are um, coming in and that is the end of a karmic cycle, definitely. Could be surrender too. You might have just surrendered to something. Isn't that funny how when you, instead of resisting it, what you resist persists? But when you finally surrender and just release it, like all of a sudden, it's like things just start moving in your favor. One more time through, please. <clears throat> Judgment, a realization. Absolutely. Some sort of realization came through. Hermit, from the inside out, not from the outside in. And two of swords. Something that maybe you didn't see clearly before, you're now seeing clearly. Because you're looking from the inside out. Instead of looking from the outside what's coming at you, you're like seeing it now from a different perspective. That makes sense. Kind of that in, inner engineering, like something doesn't feel right and I need to listen to it. Please guide me. And then all of a sudden something opened up for you. So let's see what this high priestess is because that's following your gut instincts. One more time through. Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> you might have been stuck or holding on to something. Four of Pentacles. We got the Emperor maybe trying to control some things. You might have just released some control. And we got the Seven of Swords. So you were listening to your gut instinct, that's for sure. Something was stuck. Something was holding on that was trying to control, and it was sneaky. It was not, um, some of the swords is sometimes masking or hiding, something being hidden. Because you have the high priestess here too. That's something being hidden, right? That's a secret. Give me one more on this, please could maybe be a secret that you discovered or it could be a secret within yourself or maybe you saw ways where you were deceiving yourself deceiving your own instincts your own inner intuition you might have been hanging on to something that might not have been good for you that was toxic because you do have the devil up here in what the universe is trying to trying to help you with and it caused a lot of confusion and you had to learn something new Maybe following your heart more than you were following your head. We have the two of wands. So having to make a decision which road to take. And it looks like you made the right decision because the ace of wands is starting over again. That's what's right in front of you that you need to contend with. So far I don't see any like um, signs coming up except we got the queen of cups. That's uh, water signs. <clears throat> this could have something to do with the relationship. This just could have something to do with life in general. Um, I don't see anything really coming through any other signs. Except air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So clarify what this Ace of Wands is, please. Queen of Swords, finding truth. There's another air sign coming through.
One more time. Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. So whatever truth you discovered or whatever illuminated you or whatever brought you out of this, you know, feeling like the cloud's been removed, um, you can trust it. It's been dependable, it's been sturdy, and it has changed things. Wheel of Fortune. Luck and expansion is on your side. It has definitely changed things. You're heading towards your bliss. You got the Nine of Cups in your theme with victory, right? That's Phoenix rising up out of the ashes. You got the Ace of Wands, a new beginning in creativity and self-expression. You got the Empress and the High Priestess here. It looks like you're releasing or let go. You've let go of some things that were holding you back. Pro procrastination. You're seeing things in a different light. <clears throat> you're heading towards your Ten of Cups. And you're, you're going with force and passion. So in the extended, I, I don't see any signs really coming through except for maybe air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with a lot of air energy in their chart. I will look at those in the extended. Um, I'll get a little bit more on this outcome for you, but I kind of like to keep it there. It's kind of nice. <laughs> but I will get a little bit more on this outcome for you. We will look at energies that need to be released during this transition, and we will look at energies that need to be embraced for you as you set out on your trail. Setting out on your trail, being followed and guided by your inner knowing. So with that, I will get a card from, a message for you from your higher self. Something you can marinate with. Message for Aries, please, from the higher self. Message for Aries, please. Solitude. It's where the answers come, right? Getting rid of the noise around you, listening to that inner knowledge. I am comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul. Meditation is required when you receive the solitude card as a sign. Empty your mind of superfluous, superfluous thoughts. That was a hard one for me to struggle through. And allow stillness to flow through your whole being. This is not an advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it's a period for a conscious retreat. What's called for now is to step back and take your focus off your life and your troubles. There you go. Surrender. Surrender and realization. Take a step back and take your focus off your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised how things sort themselves out once you relent, replenished your energy by a means of much needed rest and time out. Too much solitude resi results in isolation and separation. Now is the moment to get together and just be in a happy place. But take time out for yourself. You are not a prisoner of your own play, your own being. You are loved and you are never alone. You have the key. Spirit always finds a way to speak through you. So that's what I got for you, Aries. I hope this helped. And until next time, I wish you peace that passes all understanding. For those of you going on, the link is below. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.